beautiful beaters. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and I'm back today with two more subscriptions from the Beads of the Month Club for September 2020. These are the two selections I received from the two whole Beads of the Month Club and the Hot and Trendy Beads of the Month Club. They've got all different types of clubs as well as a rotating one which will rotate you through all their different types of beads. And they have single sizes and they have double sizes. These happen to be both the single sizes of those two clubs. I will leave the link to their subscription right down below the video so you can check out all those different options. And I have a coupon code, which is OPAL10, O-P-A-L-10, which will save you 10% off the first month of your first subscription if you'd like to try them out. If you're curious about what I've gotten in the past, definitely check out my playlist. I have tons of unboxings for them. And you can also check out their new findings companion pack, which is an optional add-on to the beads. But without further ado, let's look and see what themes are included in my selection this month. So for Hot and Trendy, it looks like the theme is called Jazz Blues. And then for the two hole, we have Dew Kissed Leaves. Cannot wait to see what's in here. Let's get started with the two hole beads of the month club. Check out some of this greenery in here. You can see that there is a list on the top, which tells us everything that's going to be in the eight containers of beads that are on the other side of this listing. You have the full color names. That way you can seek out more online if you'd like to purchase more of these beads. And they have the quantity included and the retail price. So let's flip it over. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous tones of greens, and we have some silver and clear to go along with those. So with this club, you get eight different containers of beads, regardless of if you do the single or the double. The single containers just contain about half as many beads as the double. And you will get so many different types of two-hole beads, not just the ones you'll see today, but it'll be something different all the time. So let me get organized, and then we can take a closer look at each of these one at a time. All right, our first container, it says these are the Argentis Silver Samos Parpuka beads, seven grams in this container. Look at that lovely metallic silver finish. And that's the oval shaped bead. Kind of reminds me of a oval cabochon with two holes running through the sides. These are lovely and great quality. You can see they have a flat bottom and a more dome shaped top. And you can use these, of course, with any other beads. You don't have to just use the Parpuka beads together. I'm really glad to get these in a neutral metallic tone like silver. Our next container says it contains the Argenti Silver Pyros Parpuka beads, seven grams of those. So another metallic silver tone, another Parpuka bead. This shape though, totally different. These are a really interesting brick-like shape that I haven't worked with yet that I'm excited to receive again in a great color to work with because the silver will go with so many things. Very shiny and uniform. They're kind of like a little spacer. They're a flat brick and then they come to a point there at the top if you can see how those look there on the side. They're actually thinner little slices than I thought. I'd, I'm sure there's tons of possibilities with these. Next is a container with the crystal silky beads. These are the tile shaped beads that are kind of flipped on an angle. So the two holes actually go through the points instead of parallel with the sides. These looking like little blocks of ice. And I think that texture that the silky beads have on that one side where they're a little bit raised in the center looks especially interesting in this clear, the way the light plays off of that. They're very, very smooth and glossy and it gives it almost a wet look. And now we're getting into the green. We're gonna kick that off with our Aqua Rembrandt Paisley Duos. Absolutely gorgeous combination. I love the background color, the translucent turquoise, and then look at that splash of that golden tone. We just gotta take these out to really see them. Very smooth, uniform, lustery. Almost looks to have those paint splatters, why they're called Rembrandt beads. We have our little paisley shape and the two holes that run parallel through the bead. Another selection, our aqua Rembrandt color and finish are in the ginkgo beads, another fun two hole shape. 
gorgeous greenish tone. And again, with those satiny, almost metallic splashes over the top and then an overall luster finish really highlighting their glossy shine. There's the two holes that run parallel to each other up and down that ginkgo leaf shape, which happen to coordinate with our paisleys. Next up, we have a selection of super duos, and these are in this juicy emerald green color. There's a close-up look at that handful, the fun kind of pinched two-hole shape, and this is one bead that you can probably expect to get in each of the two hole beads of the month clubs. You can expect to get a selection of super duos. They're a pretty popular two hole bead and they used to have a dedicated super duo of the month club, but now the selection is included with the two hole beads. I love that shade of green. They let a little bit of light through. They're not really opaque and definitely fit in well with our theme. Something I haven't mentioned yet, if you are a subscriber to one of these Beads of the Month Club subscriptions, you'll also get access to their free patterns page, which changes every month, and you'll be able to download and or print three different beading patterns that change. They give you some ideas on what to do with some of these more unique shapes, if you're curious about that. It's a really nice perk to the subscription. All right, our next container includes the pastel emerald infinity beads in the three by six millimeter size, another lovely shade. Here's our handful of these satiny teal infinities, the infinity shape, the two holes that sit right there next to each other, looking like little peanuts. And these having a little bit more of a bluish tone than some of our other green selections. And then for our eighth selection in this club, we have the Emerald Mini Duos. So fun, that'll go with our Super Duos. They're in the same color choice, that emerald with that translucent glass, and these have a beautiful silvery luster finish. So that luster being the only thing that's different between these and the Super Duos in color, those are gorgeous, just a smaller version of the Super Duo. All right, guys, so that is everything included for the two whole beads of the month club this month. I think they did a fantastic job. These beads are gorgeous, they're high quality, the theme is on point, and it's another great selection of two whole beads, which is exactly what I wanted. I know that's not right for everybody, but that's the nice thing. They have different types of bead clubs if you're not comfortable or don't really enjoy working with multi-hole beads like I do. There's something for everybody. Also, if you use that coupon code I provided, OPAL10, it will let them know that you are one of my viewers. So they'll try to get you on the same rotation as me where you'd get the same selections color-wise if they have the stock and availability, but it could change a little bit from month to month depending on that. So just to let you guys know, but regardless, this is the idea of what you would get and those two whole shapes being totally different each month as well, except for the fact that you can probably bank on getting a container of super duos. But that's not all I have for you guys. I have the Jazz Blues Hot and Trendy Beads of the Month Club. So I'm gonna tidy this up and then I will get organized and we will look at these one at a time. All right, guys, I'm back on a different day and now I'm really ready to dig into this. Something came up and I had to stop in the middle of what I was doing. But anyway, let's flip over our Jazz Blues grouping here and I am seeing some beautiful things. Lots of blues and some golds and I can't wait to take a closer look. So let me get organized and I will be right back. All right, we start this lineup with some opaque blue round duos, 30 pieces inside this container. And this is such a gorgeous shade of blue, very bright and vibrant. You can see these are opaque, pretty glossy, and they have two holes that run through the rounds right side by side next to each other. And I know Potomac Beads has some tutorials incorporating these round duos in particular. There's even round trios with three holes. Next up in a very similar shade of opaque blue, we have the opaque blue with hematite stripes daggers. And there's 25 pieces inside of this container. Another gorgeous shade of bright blue with some interesting stripes. We'll take a look at it close. Oh, neat. 
These are actually pretty subtle. You wouldn't really notice them in the container until you take them out and you look at them under the light. It's pretty interesting. They have those metallic hematite stripes on parts of the beads and it appears to be on both sides. They make so many interesting daggers, lots of different designs. And then our next container is full of these blue and green ceramic tri-beads. You can see the triangular shape, they're pretty flat and they have a hole that runs right through the center. These have a satiny finish and they appear to be a little bit stone-like, potentially like a travertine or a Picasso type situation going on with the finish and another unique shape to explore and play around with. And now we have our quad beads. These are a four-sided square shape, also flat with a hole running through the center. And one of my favorite shades of the gold in the Czech glass, that flax or Aztec gold color. Here's a handful of those, just gorgeous. Very uniform, great to use as unique little spacers in certain bead weaving projects when you need something that's kind of thin and also something that you can put with a bead with a larger hole, which can potentially act as a little stopper from beads that are smaller slipping underneath and through holes of a bead next to it. And as a longtime viewer pointed out just recently in a helpful comment, it reminds me of how she was saying she used certain beads like this in earrings where you don't want a bead with a larger hole slipping off of a head pin. You can use something like this as a stopper for that. And I thought that was a great idea to point out. Next up is a container of Ava beads. These are also in the Aztec gold color. And it looks like we get 12 pieces inside this container. We have our little foam here to protect our Avas. And it looks like they have all arrived intact, so that's a good sign. And you can see how they have a hole that runs through the legs of this A shape, and then also a hole that runs through the top of the peak. Really interesting bead, and definitely something I would expect in a hot and trendy selection. Next, that brings us to some Arcos Parpuka beads. These are in a blue-green ceramic combination. Isn't that beautiful? One of my favorite combinations on these Parpuka beads. And they have a bit of a luster, glossy shine to them over the top. You can see the semicircle shape. These have three holes, one running through the center and then one on either side of that. And as an idea, you can put these together facing each other and that gives you a little situation in there where you can fill in that gap. And there are Parpuka beads specifically made to fit in that little gap, but you can also play around and use some other materials. And in that same color combination and finish, we have the blue-green ceramic Ilos Parpuka beads. These really remind me of pinch beads that are just more compressed. If you look at them from the side with the hole facing, you, you can see that they have the three sides kind of like a pinch bead does. They just look a little bit more round on the side. They're more circular than oval like a pinch bead on the side. And these are something I haven't played with yet, so I'm really excited to get those. And that blue-green ceramic is so lovely. And then our final and eighth container in this grouping of beads are some Rizzo's. These are the Sapphire Capri Gold, a lovely and striking combination. That Capri Gold is always more of a coppery tone. It looks gorgeous combined with that cobalt blue that's kind of transparent, really bright and gleaming. Great little beads for fringe and texture with the hole running through the top of that little mini drop shape. So another lovely assortment as usual, but what else do I expect from the Beads of the Month Club? It's a great mix of both colorful beads and also neutrals, which will go with so many different other things. And not just pairing these with this particular collection, but as you go from month to month, you start to build up a nice little stash of these different things. And items that work from one month may be able to be combined really well with something from another. And just a lot of fun and interesting items to spark your creativity. If you are more adventurous, if you're looking for different shapes and finishes, 
and are really open. That's a main key to this one. You need to be open-minded as far as what beads you get sent and be willing to work and explore and experiment with all different things. Even things you may have not thought that you were interested in before. I've had many occasions where I started playing with something that I wasn't immediately drawn to and turned it into something I really liked and had a new appreciation for that item. But I really like everything that they sent in this club and in the two whole beads of the month club. I think they did a great job with the selection. These are not necessarily meant to go together, these two clubs, but certainly on their own, they did do a great job with the items that they included. Don't forget to use that coupon code OPAL10 if you want to try them out and save 10% off the first month of your first club. They have so many different options. And of course, the two different club sizes, even with the single club, I feel like I still get a lot of beads but you can determine what is right for you and you can always pick and choose more than one club if you can't decide on one. And feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this month's selection. Maybe you received the same thing or maybe you received something different. Let me know. And of course, if there's anything else you'd like to say. I wanna give you guys a huge thank you for unboxing these with me. It was a lot of fun to do that with you. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate a big thumbs up. So please do that. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're there if you haven't already. And that way you will be notified when I am posting new content and when I'm back with new pieces and new tutorials using some of these beads. You can also find links down below to all of my social media handles, and I would love to have you following along with me there. And you can check out my blog and shop at orchidandopal.com for even more beading fun. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and you're staying creative, healthy, and well. And as always, happy beading. Happy beading.